Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back here with another video. So I've been reading a lot online and, you know, some people even commenting on my channel and on X and other platforms where they still seem to be a little bit worried about this whole NDP liberal kind of merger where they, you know, they all kind of form one party and try to beat out Polyev. And I just kind of wanted to reiterate that that is very, very, very unlikely to happen. And the reason is, so if you look at the federal projections in terms of seats, Pierre Polyev is at 210. Now, that alone means it's over. It's done. Trudeau is done. He's gone. He's out of here. There's nothing anyone can really do about that. Because if you look here, 81, and then let's say the block also teamed up with them, they wouldn't even get to 150. Right? I mean, 81, 16, let's just say it's about 20, 100. Yeah, they'd get about 130 seats if they all teamed up. Right. So that they can't really do anything about it, even if they wanted to do something about it. Right. So um, just wanted to kind of put your guys' mind to rest that as long as Pierre Polyev keeps on these projections. And yes, the the, the um, election is a long time away. Uh, even if we do get an earlier election than we think, it's still going to be a little while from now, roughly about eight to ten months. So um Anything could happen, I guess. I mean, Pierre Polyev could make some big mistakes. There could be some sort of a scandal. Trudeau could actually do something good for a change. Who actually, who knows? But it's going to be very, very difficult for Pierre Polyev to lose this. I can't even imagine what he would have to do. Even if Pierre Paul, or even if Justin Trudeau comes out and says, hey, I'm going to do some sort of a universal basic program, uh, basic income program, I just don't see it. Um, I don't see it swaying that many voters. Sorry. All right, try not to sneeze. Ugh. Sorry about that. But yeah, I don't think no matter what Justin Trudeau does, I, even if it's a universal basic income, I don't actually see him winning over that many people. I think there's just so many people who are just completely done with him and they're not going to go back over even if he tries to pull some weird little scheme like that. Now, I also think there's also people saying, well, what if in close ridings, the NDP pulls out and they their voters support liberal or liberals pull out, you know, in a, in a close riding and to help the NDP. I mean, they're going to have to pick which other party they want to go with. So let's just say they pick liberals. Right. And every liberal or in every NDP MP who is in, a, in, a, in an election in a riding where it's going to be close, they drop out and their supporters, they think, would then go over to Justin Trudeau. However. It seems like even a lot of liberals don't like this idea. A lot of NDP supporters don't even like this idea that just if the NDP candidate drops out, remember, they don't like Trudeau either. So they're just more likely to either stay at home or potential. I don't even I don't think they'd vote for Pierre Paul yet, but they're not going to just overwhelmingly vote for liberals like people think just because it's in a close riding. Let's say. um I think Brampton is probably going to be pretty close, right? So let's see here. Pull up Brampton. So Brampton is toss up right now. So let's click on that here and have a look. Yeah, so, I mean, if you look at the polls, now these polls also, they go by recent history and average polling. So th this is, this, even though it looks like it's tied, the Conservatives are going to be winning here. That's why they have a bigger percentage to win, even though it's virtually tied. Now, again, if the NDP MP dropped out and supported Trudeau and the Liberals, it looks like, yeah, they, they could take back Brampton. Well, this is only in a toss-up. Even if that were true, this is a toss-up. They can take Brampton and Pierre Polyev is still going to win a majority. There's no way they're going to take away that many seats. Most electorals, uh, most districts and ridings don't look like this. And even when they do, I expect the conservatives to still win this by five to 10 points. And like I said, not all these 16% is going to go over to Trudeau. They hate Trudeau too, right? So I just don't see any single way possible where Pierre Polyev is not the prime minister. He's so extremely likely to get to that 210 seat at least, which is what they're projecting right now. I think it's going to be even more than that. Now, maybe they keep it to around 200 if they can get some ridings to stay um, liberal. Like if they do, if the end, if the liberal NP, if sorry, if the NDP MP drops out in a region, maybe it could help them win a couple because some NDP supporters will go over to the liberals, but not nearly enough to 
to stop Pierre Polyev from winning the election. I just don't think there's any way that they can actually stop him. This is not quite like France, where right now, like Pierre Polyev is extremely, like way, way, way more popular than almost any other politician. Like if you look at any other opposition right now in the world, even Donald Trump's not pulling where Pierre Polyev is pulling. I mean, it looks like he's going to not only win, but just win in such a massive way. Even a merger couldn't stop them. So I just wanted to make that very clear. It looks like we're going to be okay, guys. So I don't want to, I know that a lot of people are stressed and worried about this and um, you shouldn't be. It's, it's, they're so unpopular and all the other leaders are just so weak. There's no way they're, they're, people would rather stay home than vote for a merger, I think, even on the liberal side. All right, so um, let's just put that to rest there. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this uh, for this video and channel. It really does help me grow. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And please also don't forget what um, to comment your opinions or your questions or just your thoughts in the comment section. I always enjoy hearing those. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.